What is up, guys? Texie from UnityTradingGroup.com, where it's our job to make you a smarter, more profitable trader, and we have no trading courses to sell you. That's because everything we do here is 100% free to give back to you because we love you. Right, big day for cryptocurrency, really big day for Luna. Uh, hopefully you weren't chopped up or caught on the wrong side of the trade on this one. There's a lot to unpack about today because there are some really relevant zones below us that could be in play if we don't hold these particular levels. There's definitely some blood in the streets. Do we buy or do we wait? Plus, I also have a really interesting traditional market BTC fractal that played out to an absolute T that may give us an idea if we look in our crystal ball of where things may be headed very, very shortly. If you want to know what we're looking at and these key levels to play, stick around as I dive right in. Yes, as I mentioned, everything we do here is free. If you want to know more, unitytradinggroup.com. You can come over to all of our trading guides that we have here. Or if you're new, you can click on this uh, complete beginner trading series. Everything you need to know to get you into your first or next trade. All right. This was the chart that we had shared on the 6th of May. We've gone back a little bit further before this where we had this descending structure. We were looking for the breakout because we were inside this BTC parallel channel. Before we broke out, I said, you really need to play um, smart here because if we have a breakout, I would be looking for potential bull traps where we would look to see more downside. Our 38 gave us, uh, our 38 fib really, uh, top right hand corner if you want to know how to trade Fibonacci, it uh, was a perfect rejection for us. Our gravy train indicator was short the entire time and I said the 34, 32 and 30 were going to be the next relevant levels for potential holdups. Well, here we are. Gravy train was absolutely correct. Uh, it gave us a short signal all the way from up here. So if we look to where we are now, that was a 29% short signal that it gave us down towards this demand zone. So if we just take a few things off from here, we look at how relevant this demand zone is. It's a major level for us to hold if we are going to continue to see BTC. Uh, well, if we hold above here, we want to see some upside, obviously, a small recovery. If we don't, uh, I think our Fibonacci is sort of telling us where our next level of support may be. One thing that is a little bit of a concern here is how many times we've now tested this demand zone without breaking to the downside. Again, top right hand side, if you wanna know how to trade supply and demand, it gives you levels of support and resistance. It's like support and resistance 2.0, uh, Forex trading skills that we've adopted here at UTG. Insanely accurate. So yeah, definitely where we sit right now, a very relevant zone. Our Fibonacci, if this is gonna be in play, more often times than not, when I see uh, our Fibonacci break our zero level or our 100% level, depending on how you wanna look at it, the 27 extension often acts as a strong level of support, at least in the short term. We can see now here on this daily candle, it's not really giving me personally much of an idea that we're going to uh, hold this level for very long. We may see a recovery up to this 32, 33K zone. If we put on our Unicon indicator, which gives us a little bit more of an understanding of where things may sit, we definitely still have downside potential because if we look at things here now, uh, there is nothing from an MA standpoint or a Unicon standpoint that tells me that we are going to rally higher from here. And we are already starting to see weakness and sell offs on this uh, one hour candle at the moment. RSI, again, top right hand corner, uh, had bottomed around that 17.9 level. If we go up to our higher time frames, we can definitely see as we look back that the RSI is not shy of testing this particular level where we have seen recoveries in the past. So it very well could be a level that we see temporary holdups, which we're seeing at the moment. But from my side, uh, definitely if we continue higher, that's going to be, uh, and if we just go out to the daily time frame, the reason why that's relevant is because that was our our previous low there where we saw this pin bar or this real big buy up before we recovered. That would be the type of action that we want to see. These really big pin bar reversals where there's a lot of liquidity, a lot of buying pressure at these levels to say to me, all right, this is a level where there's a, a lot more buyers than sellers and we would see a rally to the upside or a recovery. For me, I'm just not seeing that right now. So again, if we came back up towards this 32, 33K level, that is definitely the period or the time where I'll be looking to take profits and potentially look to load more shorts as we uh, potentially continue more to the downside. So as we see things from here, if we just take everything off again now, 
asked, um, definitely this next level below us, there is not a great deal of structure holding us back if we don't hold these levels, let's say from here to 27K. 27K is really the last sort of low of this period here. Uh, which aligns very well. We may see they just get slightly front run, but our fibs have been insanely accurate this entire way down, meaning that, the, the, as I said, the structure to the left-hand side there wouldn't really hold too much back from a move back down towards this 24 to 22 level. If we look at our fibs, that 21 level, that's pretty scary, but it's also really exciting because if you had that Fiat dry powder that we talk about and our Arthur Hayes video posted in early January, these are the moments when you want to have all that Fiat allocated ready to buy these lower levels. If we put on our volume profile as well, we can see this uh, really this volume chasm. Again, you can go to our, our YouTube page. As we head down, there is not a great deal of volume holding this back and we can see the relevance of this demand zone and how it aligns with our volume bars from here. So again, a volume chasm sort of down to that 27K level, 27.7 level, aligns with our Fibonacci, down again towards this 23.5 level, and maybe even lower down here. Pretty scary time for BTC at the moment. All right, let's have a look at, uh, at Ethereum. I published this back on the 2nd of May, where I spoke about these downside moves, and I said, you know, that was really the, the last major recovery that we had off this overall parallel channel, looking for a 32% move to the downside. On the 2nd of May, we were looking at that 24.5, and then I'd outlined these levels below, 2268, 2171, all the way back down to 1730. And if we have a look at that now, uh, bang, this is where we are. So we're, we're pretty close to those levels that I'd outlined. We dropped just a little bit further and slightly front ran that 2171 level. In these circles that I had highlighted here, I said if we were looking to hold this 25K, uh, sorry, uh, $2,500 level, we may see some sort of uh, pin bar reversal or a wick outside of this parallel, a hold up and a potential recovery, but it was never to be. Uh, you know, we saw our RSI moving to the downside like this BT shitting the bed, uh, the, the, the traditional market's shitting the bed as well. Ethereum's not immune to that, nor is any part of the market. We're now seeing Netflix down back below pre-COVID levels. We are seeing Amazon eat it overnight uh, as well. The entire market is, is being wrecked. Uh, and again, that Arthur Hayes video and the yearly deconstruction that I gave you at the, the beginning of January, you know, it, it plays this out to a T. It really plays this out to a T. Admittedly, at this period here, I was getting a little excited about the market. You know, I was saying, what a time to be a trader, and I was getting caught up in it. That goes to show you that even with me, with years and years of trading experience, can still get a little bit caught up in the euphoria of the market. So if we look at Unicon here, again, the, the most accurate indicator you will find anywhere online, go to our indicators tab there, um, gave us the short signal all the way back up here at 3181. So if we play that out now to where we are, that was a 30% move or a 30% short that you could have been in uh, if you listen to Unicon. An incredible indicator, the accuracy of which cannot be understated. So as it stands at the moment, these are the levels that I am looking at. If we just take some of the noise off here, I'm going to bang on our volume profile where again, uh, things are not looking great, especially if BTC can't hold these levels. We can see that this 2171 level was going to be, a, a let's say, a semi-key support for here from the volume perspective. As we move back down, very little structure here to the left-hand side where we would look to see potential moves down towards that 1850, potentially 1750 level. Uh, a, a, probably a much stronger level of support if we were to move to the downside and then continuing down from here down to 1300 uh, around that sort of 13 1400 level down to 1177 we can definitely see on our rsi it's free get our trading view profile um, that there is uh, a lot of oversold conditions at the moment we see back down here at this 2272 rsi level where we previously bottomed we have not yet hit that but if we look to the left here there are not a great deal of times where we have hit it and not recovered to some degree. So certainly if we continue to the downside, that's an RSI level I will be looking at. We look at our OBV, our order book volume as well. Uh, we were ranging within this parallel channel. We have since broken out of that. OBV is a, just gives you order book volume. Um, definitely those are sort of the next 
OBV levels that I would be looking at from here as we continue down. We may look for an OBV retest from here again. If we look to retest these potential levels, um, I would be looking at that uh, at the highest sort of 2500 level for a potential rejection as we come down to the four hour now as well. Gravy Train gave us the short the whole way down. We look at it at, from a, a Unicon MA standpoint. Again, we can see that our MA sits at around that 2500 level. So again, I'm not getting too euphoric on recoveries at this point. If they do, I believe they will be short-lived where I'd look to take profit from there and, uh, and, and continue downwards. All right, let's get into this fractal. Altcoin Psycho posted on the Feb, uh, Feb 2nd. This was the altcoin, uh, sorry, the BTC fractal that he posted uh, from the traditional market. So I'll just show you here, and I've got to give this guy props. What an incredible bloody fractal this was. So this is a fractal all the way back from 2006 to 2008 on the weekly time frame. I love fractals that have very large time frames. Um, it gives it a lot more of, I think, a lot more emphasis than when you see like a 15 minute or an hour fractal from how long ago it is, and it's a totally different time frame on BTC. Um, again, here we are now, pretty in incredible stuff, going back from 2018 to where we are now. First low, second low, um, our third move up, four, five, six, seven, revisit the lows. Uh, and you know that can't be understated. That's a pretty incredible fractal. So definitely showing that there may be recovery from this point, then another sweep of, of the lows, um, and then some to where we may look to range sideways for a period of time. So that would maybe pay, take us back down towards that 1920K level. So if we go back to our BTC chart that I spoke about, and we look at it on the daily time frame, um, again, and unfortunately, depending on what way you want to look at it, that aligns very well with our lower demand zone and our FIB zones around that 20, let's say 20 to 23 to 24 um, to 20K level from there. So yikes, definitely showing that it could absolutely be more downside from here. Um, someone did post this earlier, which I just noticed as well. Um, if we look at something like this, let's say, like this giant descending wedge or falling wedge structure on BTC. That's very interesting. So could that mean that we come up and potentially see a retest of that 38K level if we can recover from here before more moves to the downside? Over such a long time frame, I'm not going to put too much weight on this, particularly given the circumstance of the market right now. But an interesting, uh, an interesting thing to be looking at, and uh, looking at all eventualities in this market. So that's me. Thank you so much for joining me. As I said, UnityTradingGroup.com.com. Uh, .com. Come on over. You can see all of our free guides, our beginner trading series. Everything there is for you. If you want to see something, let us know. We'll record it, we'll create it, and we'll get it up there for you. Or just go to our YouTube channel. Type in unitytradinggroup.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care, trade safe, come into the Discord. And if you want to ask questions, we are here for you anytime, any day, uh, any place. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. See you later.